This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. The Draeger SPC 4400 is a liquid-tight, splash-protective suit offering reliable protection against the finest particles and powders, many concentrated inorganic acids and alkaline solutions, and also against a wide variety of organic liquid chemicals. The one-piece overall is available in two different materials, CPM and CLF, and is the ideal protective suit for simple tasks. In the following, we will show you how to put on and take off the splash suit correctly using the SPC 4400 CLF. The suit is equipped with a full face mask and filter, cotton gloves, chemical protection gloves and protective boots as an example. For handling certain hazardous substances that require extra sealing, the protective suit will be additionally sealed with a chemical resistant adhesive tape. Please also consider your internal guidelines here. First, perform a visual inspection of the chemical protective suit and its components. Do not use damaged equipment. Prepare the suit for entry, therefore open the zipper on the front. Step into the suit without shoes through the open zipper, first into the right and then into the left leg. Pull up the cuff. and step into the boots. Then pull the cuffs down over the boots. Place the respirator on the chin. Pull the head harness over the head and then tighten the harness evenly towards the back. For higher wearing comfort, you can use cotton gloves under the chemical protective gloves. Guide your arms into the sleeves. Pull the thumb loops over your thumbs. Then put on the protective gloves. Pull the hood over the head and over the full face mask. Have a second person close the zipper and the flap. Make sure that the hook and loop fastener is completely flat and that there are no air pockets or unsealed areas. Close the chin flap between hood and mask. Place one strip on the other strip. Then attach the breathing filter to the full face mask. Have a second person connect the gloves to the suit with a chemical resistant adhesive tape. Make your hand into a fist before attaching the tape. Make sure that the tape does not wrinkle. Fold the tape over at the end to make it easier to remove after use. Also have the boots fixed to the leg ends of the suit with a chemical resistant adhesive tape. Here too, there must be no wrinkles on the tape. Then tape the mask to the suit and also avoid wrinkles here.
The suit is now ready for use. Remove the tape between the mask and the suit. Open the zipper on the front. Slip the hood over your head. When doing so, your gloves must only touch the outside of the suit due to possible contamination. Have the tape between the boots and the suit removed. Take off your boots and put them aside. Then doff the suit completely. Again, make sure to touch the contaminated side only with protective clothing. Take off the gloves. Then take off your breathing protection. Turn the suit inside out so that the contaminated side is inside and put the suit with the gloves into a foil bag and close it. Put the boots in a plastic bag as well.